16 FD Hummingbird just fluttered in here. Hey, RV of Coldwater, Michigan. You get that? Fluttered in? Don't worry, guys. The bad jokes just keep on coming. Um, <laughs> this is, uh, by the way, if you're ever curious how much uh, we're asking for one of these things, or if you want to know, like, lengths and specs and stuff like that, there's a link down here in the video description for you YouTube-type folks. Says check for price and availability. That has all those easy questions right there. Um, this is a the number one selling uh, teardrop floor plan that we have at our dealership. We have this from a couple different brands, and I think it's just because it's all thriller, no filler. It's the ideal little camper, you know, gets the job done very well. And Jayco has uh, done their teardrops uh, notably different from the industry standard here. There's a few guys building things like this. So what I want to focus on are the areas where I feel I've identified this as being different, unique, fun. Um, just not not normal, really. Uh, now that I say that, right away, I do want to mention something that is normal on these. That's the narrow body. This is a six and a half foot wide body, so it is very easily towable. 2,715 pounds really should fall right in the bounds of uh, minivan towable. Um, like, really minivan towable, not like, you know, eh, air quote minivans, but no, like really minivan towable. Um, one piece front to back fiberglass sweep as is pretty much class defining, but the neat part about that is you don't have the rubber roof maintenance type stuff. There's still normal trailer maintenance, uh, and give me a call if you'd like some explanations of that. Our guys here at the dealership are very, uh, educated on that. But, uh, you know, no specific roof, um, like treating and stuff like that. Uh, it sort of reminds me back when we had aluminum skinned uh, roofing. I, I really like that. I, I thought that was a great way to build trailers, but not exactly the least expensive way to build trailers. That's why a lot of brands have gotten away from it. Um, their uh, front graphics here are awesome. We actually had a manufacturer's rep from another brand here the other day, snooping around, seeing what other products were on the market. Uh, being very close to the uh, manufacturer's hub of this business, we've got very good relationships with our manufacturing partners, and they'll come up here and look around because we're so close. And they looked at this and went, man, I got to give them credit. They did awesome on the front of that. Those graphics are incredible because it totally has the appearance of like a full nose cap, but none of the cost, none of the weight, but it has that good look to it. And they did a nice job with this sort of hawk build front uh, diamond plate up here. You have LED little uh, hitching lights so that you can see what you're doing at night, um, but it just it has a different shape, a different look. It has that little sort of bird beak feel, and that's, you know, the Jayco thing. Um, the colors here, it's amazing how the colors of this Hummingbird, the color package has been so powerful that it's actually affected the industry. You've watched other brands adopt this color scheme. Uh, really funny how heavily it has permeated the market. Um, the, the, the blue, gray, and black, and white, that whole color package has just become a very popular thing in little campers all of a sudden. You can thank the Hummingbird for it. Um, Outside shower, black tank flush, pretty standard stuff in this class, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time there. Uh, I do like the, um, you know, marker lights amidships. Ahoy, mateys! We've got these little marker lights here on your fenders because the uh, axles for most RVs are pretty standard in size. The wheels actually stick out past the body. Neat part about that is that means that you have enhanced towing stability. It will actually be a little more stable behind your vehicle because the center of gravity is between that, so there's less potential to kind of jump around. Um, I, they've done such an amazing job of, I don't know how else to describe it, making this thing look space age classic. Like if you would look at, at like a comic book in the 1950s of what are the space aliens going to look like, you know, where it looked like a spaceship version of the cool cars with the wings and things. That's sort of the thing that I see here, because they've gone back to what makes a, a small camper, you know, the classic small camper things, but really, really aggressively modern equipment, like all the LED lights everywhere so that you don't have the incandescent burnouts. Um, we've got the power awning with a multi-colored LED uh, awning thing. You can There's like 16 different color combinations you can flip through with that. You can, I think there's even a strobe option, if I remember right. You, you know, so if you've got somebody who's prone to having a stroke, maybe, you know, you could get the money from that will sooner than you intended. Never mind, I, I'm obviously not advocating that sort of activity. Moving on. Um, <laughs> the neat thing with Jayco's, their lightweight series include these two foot by four foot um, outdoor picnic tables. And you can leave them out in the rain, in the weather, doesn't matter, they're a resin top. 
and they have their own neat little self-storing location right here so they don't eat up your storage space. You still have a big storage chunk under the rear bed and it's very wide, easy to get to. And speaking of storage, we also have good storage up front under the uh, um, bench seat as well. Even a nice little LED light in there uh, for visibility. Even though it is a single step, they still use the aluminum step. It's a little more rigid, it's lighter, and it just frankly looks cool. It goes very nicely with the color decor here. Their speakers are down low where they should be. So when that picnic table's set up under the awning, which it's probably gonna be right here next to the outside TV hookups, you're going to be able to hear the speakers without the volume cranked up really loud to offend the neighbors. And their wheel package is just just dynamite looking on this thing. 14 inch radial tires, by the way. Um, nice little touches too, like this is actually raised right here, the little mirrored section. That's part of the reason, along with the color contrast, it has a very three dimensional look and feel to it. And nobody, 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 beats Jayco's warranty. There is no one on the market with a better, longer warranty. I don't care what their marketing teams want you to think. This is the bestest, longest, uh, awesomest warranty on the market. Um, the, uh, you know, read the fine print. You're going to find that. If you want details on that, give us a call. There's uh, different interior uh, options. I want to call this one pecan, or depending on where you live or how you say it, pecan. Maybe it's just how much twang you put on pecan, you know. Sort of sounds like something out of a comic book when a guy gets punched like, PECAN! Anyway, um, <laughs> the uh, seating in this, the, the nice, uh, the darker leatherette, very, uh, go, goes very well with the color scheme in here, but it's also very, like, um, come and go friendly. You can scoot in and out of this without really tearing it up at all. Now, they did a very good job of including power outlets wherever they could in here. So you can have, like, phone charging station. If you fold that, this down into a bed, you could plug in, uh, you know, uh, alarm clocks and stuff like that. I like the little shelf up here, too. That is going to be a very easily overlooked but hyper-valuable feature. You take for granted just something simple like that. Just something easy to keep out of the way. Now, with this, the curvature of the teardrop designs, they're not really conducive to overhead storage right here. Even if you put a cabinet there, it'd be a joke of a cabinet. So they left it open. It feels nice and open, but they gave you this handy little cargo pocket. So when you're sitting here, you want to just drop your phone in or some magazines or whatever, you know, it's an easy spot for that stuff. It's, it's perfectly accessible, but it's not uh, eating up space. Uh, your windows all have pleated shades. We've got the cross breeze windows. Anywhere you see a window on one side of the trailer in this floor plane, you see a window on the other side, so you do get good airflow. And a very, very good lighting package in here. You can see the difference that makes and how it just brings life to the woodwork. This is also, this is a beveled print insert. This looks like a, a beveled door. It looks like there's the little etchings and inserts in here. And I've had people going like this and they go, oh, oh. You know, it's it's just a panel, but man, does it have good eye appeal. It doesn't cost more to look good sometimes. That's the nice thing here. Um, uh, kitchen outlet there, black on black, easily overlooked. And we've got some pretty solid storage space in here. That is one thing they did very well. In a little camper like this, they gave you very good storage, which is a hard thing to accomplish. You know, they, they nice big drawer here, lots of fork, spoons, knives, even room for like flashlights and stuff, and a large pantry in a little camper, uh, or it could be used for linen space or anything in between, you know, very nice. Um, convection microwave oven, so you can have some meals in a hurry. So you're kind of getting two appliances in one here. And you'll notice we're also getting the, the larger roof mount AC because these things are so low profile uh, with the roof mount, you can usually still get them in many garages. I'm not gonna say all, because garages are all different. You do have a little freezer pocket inside the gas and electric refrigerator here too. Um, Back here, we have a best-in-class Simmons Beauty Sleep mattress. And these are the same linens that you find in, like, Jayco Eagle fifth wheels, the same, uh, you know, bedding complement. And again, they have that handy little storage pocket back there that you will find use for. You know, they've done a very good job. To help it feel a little more open, they did mirror the bathroom door, which opens that right up quite a bit. And uh, this right here is uh, deceptively uh, neat how it's equipped. You have your bathroom vent fan switch outside. So if you want to get some airflow going at night, you don't have to like open this and make racket and get in and out. You can do it all from right here, even your handy little, you know, light switch right here. You don't have a lot of room for shelf space. So once again, the handy little caddies come to save the day and get the job done. This is called a wet bath. 
Not fancy, not flashy, but you know what? Effective. And for, it just it's a hyper space efficient design. It does an extremely good job of giving you, uh, you know, a, a lot of things in one place. And finally, the entertainment area. Um, we uh, generally add TVs to these. The camper we're shooting uh, currently actually does have a TV with it. It, we simply have them shipped loose in the box so that you're the first people to touch them, uh, you know, when they when they leave here. Jayco allows us to do that. Most brands don't do that. We do everything we can to keep everything as fresh and in the wrapper as we possibly can. Um, up here, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player. All our entertainment needs are going to be handled. This TV is also going to be on a big swing arm mount, so it's not going to be flat mounted. You can crank it out to see it easily. Nobody ever gets offended by a little bit of DVD storage. Even the same antenna system they're using on their fifth wheels. Omnidirectional, it, it just, oh, not omnidirectional, pardon me, but uh, superior range, uh, pardon me, of the uh, omnidirectional models. Gas and electric water heater for 18 gallons of hot water per hour. What does that mean in English? If a couple of you are going to take big showers back to back, this is the, the, you know, perfect water heater for you. Same big water heaters, a lot of fifth wheels, actually. And there you have it. Fantastic little uh run around weekend getaway i don't know hipster camper you know <laughs> whatever you want to call it give us a call 800-256-5196 haylet rv of Coldwater, michigan um we do everything guys hitching pieces parts financing trades accessories truck and trailer package deals we'll deliver it to your front door all we need is a phone call that's it so uh take care stay safe have fun and happy camping everyone